الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد I ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to make this Eid Eid Al-Adha uh, the year 1445 Hijri 2024 uh, other era uh, to make it a blessed Eid for all Muslims while you need to show happiness and joy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted you this Eid it's a gift from Allah do not forget your Muslim brothers and sisters all over the world China under the heartless communists Burma under the heartless 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 Buddhists and other areas look at what's happening now in Sudan our Muslim brothers and sisters there la ilaha illallah may Allah help them and Gaza and the West Bank in Palestine the Jews and the Christians are exterminating our people in Gaza 36,000 so far a third of them children the other third women the other third mostly defenseless men oh Allah help them oh Allah help them this is Jalal Abu Rub originally from Palestine from Jenin the West Bank the city of Jenin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me to produce with my family may Allah reward them without their help I couldn't have done it Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen close to 60 books so far and today bi'ithnillah they are going to be more than 60 this is the announcement today today is Saturday the 9th of Dhul Hijjah the year 1445 Hijri the 15th of June 2024 at 2.30 p.m. today Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah I fulfilled my promise to produce eight to nine books since Ramadan since this last Ramadan a few months ago from Ramadan until today Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless me to finish eight books number nine is more than 70 percent finished eight books uh, here are the titles the Bible by authors anonymous discussion with a Coptic Christian evangelical poetry how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam legislated atheist prophet crucifixion the greatest delusion three Abrahamic religions when the evangelist becomes a sheikh all eight are based on something I wrote before four years they've been sitting on my laptop alhamdulillah changed them completely they are uh, alhamdulillah mostly new books even using the information I had before I added so many other things uh, all of these eight books uh, from 150 pages to 30 pages all of them wallahi alhamd are about responding to those who attack Islam I always think it is an opportunity as much as it makes us sad that people are saying things about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the Quran about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about his sunnah it makes us sad and angry but it gives us an opportunity to first respond with clear evidence to refute their lies and to affirm what they say if it is true and to compare our books to their books especially who 
the evangelicals and the Jews who are attacking the religion. So much information in these books. Here is the plan. We already have money for the covers and partially for the editing. My plan is, bi'idhnillah, uh, we are going to work uh, quickly to finish these books and post them as PDF on uh, our website, islamlife.com, I-S-L-A-M-L-I-F-E.com, islamlife.com. But also, when we have the funds, inshallah, to print them in hard copy, because I know so many uh, brothers and sisters have been telling me they don't like the PDF file. So the PDF will be for free, for free. Seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, my family helped me with this. My wife is the editor of all my books and articles. My son Ayman is helping us also with these books. Ayman. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the blessings. So the books will be for free as PDF. Printing in hard copy needs funds. Imam Ibn Baz rahimahullah said that those who write books to explain or defend Islam deserve a part of the zakah, zakatun mal. This is a lot of work since Ramadan. We didn't have any income for our charity organization for these books, except for uh, some brothers sent us money for the covers, alhamdulillah, and partially for the editing. We need a lot more. We have expenses. I need to spend on this. I need to advertise. I need to uh, print the books. And inshallah, if we print them, we'll give away some, we'll sell some so we can get back some money. Where do you think the income is going to be coming? You know, we need your help and support. Jazakumullah khairan. Remember, Anything good you help us do, you will gain the same reward, bi'idhnillah, without decreasing our reward, the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Please help us. Uh, these books, inshallah, they will be very interesting for many, many, many people. Uh, eight, number nine, the third edition of the Jihad book, Holy Wars, Crusades, Jihad, is going to be close to 80% different than this first edition. That's to come soon, inshallah. We'll, we'll update you, but uh, in the meantime, we have expenses. Really, we have expenses. And we are allowed to raise money from Zakatul Mal. Would you do that, please? Uh, if you need to know how to uh, pay, uh, you can pay online. Uh, on the website, my email is islamlife at gmail.com. I S L A M L I F E dot uh, at gmail.com. The website is islamlife.com. Gmail islamlife at gmail.com. I am Jalal Abu Rub, and tomorrow, bi I'm gonna uh, uh, touch. <laughs> and trim the moustache because we're going to do udhiya and uh, not much hair but maybe I'll take care of some of it but what I'm going to say here I'm not going to touch this leave it please leave it those who want to do, to do udhiya they know you shouldn't touch the hair on your head and of course your beard or, and uh, the moustache or cutting the nails they do that alhamdulillah for Eid, mashallah, leave the beard. Ya Ummah of Muhammad, leave the beard. Okay, nine minutes, alhamdulillah, nine minutes. Please uh, help us, support us. These are very important books. You will, inshallah ta'ala, enjoy them. And with this number, uh, the number of books we produce by Allah's help will exceed 60. We need your help and support. Don't forget that. 
and we need your dua and please don't forget our Muslim brothers and sisters all over the world of dua and whatever help you can send their way Jazakumullahu khayran walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen